Hello, I'm Philip Salamone. Today I want to talk a little bit about the envelope. So the envelope is the first stage in a block-in. And a block-in is an approach to drawing and painting that emphasizes placements and proportions before we go in and start shading or modeling. It's essentially a way to work uh, from big to small and general to specific and gradually break down those, those placements. Enjoy. So the first thing I'm thinking about in creating my envelope is some of these intervals between my northernmost point and the top of the page, my southernmost point and the bottom of the page, my westernmost point and my easternmost point, and these spaces. Because I want to be considering composition as, as one of the first things I think about in the drawing, not the last things. I'm not, I'm not trying to crop this and hope that it fits into a standard size frame. I want to take these into account right now. So maybe at this stage, at this stage I might even, well, uh, I might break it down a little bit farther. Sometimes I think of this as my block of marble, that I'm going to the quarry and I'm going to sculpt this masterpiece out of Carrera marble. Uh, so, so right now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm kind of backing up and blurring my vision as though I have my friend's glasses on that don't quite fit and everything's kind of out of focus or as though I'm, I'm underwater and I'm, and I'm opening my eyes and everything's kind of a little blurry right now. And what that does is it reduces any of the, the details that we're always prone to see. Because right now I'm not interested in any of those details. I'm interested in these very abbreviated relationships between some of these larger placements. When I put in something like this, I'm looking at this distance as well as that distance. And I'm gonna consult that before I put it in as well as after I put it in. And after I put it in, I'm, I'm guessing that that kind of wants to move up a little bit. Same thing with this. When I put this placement in, I'm looking at some of these larger relationships. I look at this distance with respect to that, and I look at those two distances up there. And up there, it seems like that's a little bit above half. And so in my drawing, let's make it a little above half. Maybe that'll come up a little bit. Looks like up there, this, if I carry it over, is just a hair above that. So that's feeling pretty good. Maybe that might come up a little bit. So one of the first orders of business is to map out some of these salient points. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. It's almost like this constellation of, of stars that, that I'm, I'm going to kind of map out just to, just to get in a, a general feel of that, of that overall shape. So there's, there's a number of other aspects that I'm thinking of as well, tilts and shapes, all of which I'm going to talk about in later videos. When I'm putting this shape in, I'm thinking about this white mass right here, and then I'm thinking about this darker mass right here. Seems like this distance is about the same as that. Maybe this might come up a little bit, or this might come down a little bit. Everything in this stage is kind of in this flexible, kind of fluid, sort of forgiving state. As the drawing progresses, I'm going to draw with much more, much more certainty and much more confidence. But at this stage, I'm, I just, I just, I'm not looking for, for certainty yet. I'm not looking for commitment. I'm just looking for stability. So when I, when I go to put this line in, again, I, I back up, I zoom out, I look at this distance and that distance. This might move over a little bit. So the whole drawing process is one of, of zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. At this stage, this original, this, this initial envelope blocking in stage, I'm very zoomed out. My, I'm making most of my decisions from back here, which is why I'm holding my pencil like this. I'm not interested in any of this nuance that's happening along this contour. There's going to be time for that. But at this stage, I'm, I'm trying to see the whole drawing 
and, and, and build everything up at the same speed. I don't want any parts of the drawing lagging behind any other parts. And I'm really, I'm really kind of interested in this very abbreviated sense. How does that compare to that? Maybe that might want to come up because I don't think that can come down too much. So at this stage, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing very, I'm drawing loose, but not sloppy, if that makes sense. So again, at, at this stage, I'm kind of backing up. I'll blur my vision. I'll stare at that 90% of the time, and then I'll flash over to my drawing. I'll say, what, what doesn't feel right about that? This tilt is a little too tilted. Maybe it wants to flatten out. So does this want to come up or does that want to come down? I think this might want to come down a little bit. Maybe I'll split the difference at this stage. Again, I kind of back up. I stare at that 90% of the time and I flash over to my drawing. This shape, I think, wants to get a little bit bigger compared to its width. So I could either bring in the width or increase the height. I think I'm going to mostly increase the height there. And so this might be a good place to stop for my envelope. Thanks for tuning in, everyone, and I'll see you next time.